In today's video, we'll expose the truth behind shockwave therapy. And a big thanks to MedBridge for sponsoring this video, but more on that later. Hey, it's Tim here with PT Progress. And as a physical therapist myself, I really didn't want to have to make this video because I know there's going to be a lot of clinicians who won't agree with what I'm about to say, including the most recent study that basically shows that shockwave therapy is a placebo. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, we discussed how the critics of shockwave therapy might look at the research differently than the supporters of the treatment. And like that video, I'm not here to bash anyone who uses shockwave therapy in the clinic or any patients who've had experience with this kind of treatment. In fact, I'd love to hear about your experiences in the comments below. But the truth is that new research has finally come out to identify whether or not shockwave therapy is just an expensive placebo. And here's what they found. This study was published in December 2024 in the Journal of Clinical Rehabilitation by Peter Maliaris and his team. It's titled, Does Shockwave Therapy Lead to Better Pain and Function Than Sham Over 12 Weeks in People with Insertional Achilles Tendinopathy, a Randomized Control Trial? Okay, let's pause for a second because I personally don't know Peter. He seems like a nice guy and a good physio, but I have to give him credit for doing this research and putting the results of his study on his channel where he openly shared that he'd been using shockwave therapy in the clinic for over 10 years with seemingly good results. But after the findings of the study, he completely dropped shockwave therapy treatments from his clinical practice in treating tendinopathies. And the thing is, He's known as a world leader in treating tendinopathies, and he completely stopped using shockwave therapy. Here's why. Their study was designed to compare shockwave therapy to a sham shockwave therapy treatment in patients with Achilles tendinopathy. The participants were blinded to whether they received the actual shockwave therapy or a sham version, which mimicked the noise and the experience, but it did not deliver any actual energy or shockwaves. And it conclusively found no significant difference in pain, function, or other measured outcomes between the real shockwave therapy group and the sham shockwave therapy group. It was a very well done study with strong evidence that suggests shockwave therapy doesn't add any benefit and is merely a placebo. And before you argue and say, well, Tim, there's a bunch of research that shows it can be helpful and you gotta look at the critics of this treatment and who's funding these studies. And well, it's funny you say that because this study was funded by DJO Global, the company that owns the Chattanooga Intellect RPW2 shockwave unit that was used in the actual study. So clearly the results were not favorable for the manufacturer of the shockwave device uh, who sponsored the study, which is unfortunate for them, but fortunate for us to know the truth because I've got to say props to the entire team for still publishing the results of that study and giving us an honest take that shockwave therapy results are highly likely to be a placebo. And that's why it's so important to look at the research, who's funding these studies, and ask the question whether or not we can trust the results. And it's one of the reasons why I trust my continuing education with MedBridge, because every year I take new courses that are backed by solid research and excellent instructors who I trust on topics of orthopedics, neurology, and so much more. With over 2,000 online courses and live webinars, MedBridge is unquestionably the leader in continuing education for physical therapists and athletic trainers. And right now you can save $101 on MedBridge when you use the promo code PTPROGRESS. Just visit medbridge.com slash PTPROGRESS to save over $100 on your continuing education with the promo code PTPROGRESS. That's medbridge.com slash PTPROGRESS. Use the promo code PTPROGRESS to save over $100 on your continuing education this year. So what does all of this mean for shockwave therapy? It sure is an expensive treatment that's not covered by insurance for tendinopathies, and the research is showing that it really just is an expensive placebo. Now, if you've experienced a positive result from shockwave therapy, that's fantastic. I'm, I'm really happy that you have. And, and if you're a clinician and you're treating patients with shockwave therapy and they're improving, well, that's great too. But I just encourage you to know that it's highly likely due to the placebo effect. And I'm not telling you to stop, but just know that it is a very expensive placebo for treating tendinopathies, and there might be a better use of our limited time with patients. You might consider taking more time to explore different exercises, education, or activity modifications to address the issue instead of spending time on treatments like shockwave therapy. 
As always, I'm curious to hear your thoughts about this study and experiences with shockwave therapy. So let me know if you found this video to be helpful by giving it a like below and leaving a comment with your experiences. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you in this next video.